uh, this is chapter 13 problem number two in this problem we are told if the motor m which is this one right here exert a force this is a for variable force force as a function of time 10 t squared plus 100 newton on the cable okay where t is in seconds determine the velocity so here we're asked to determine the velocity of the 25 kilogram crate when t equal four seconds so in velocity at four seconds the coefficient of static and kinetic friction between the crate and the plane are mu s 0.3 and mu k 0.25 respectively the crate is initially at rest so mean the initial velocity is at rest next we will write down what is given to us so the picture will be clear on one on what we have and what and what we should find so here what is given to us is So first thing, we have the mass of the crate, 25 kilogram, and the coefficient of static friction, mu s of 0.3, and the coefficient of kinetic friction, 0.25, and the time taken, 4 seconds, and the force exerted by the motor on the cable to pull the cable toward the motor to pull the crate toward the motor force as a function of time equal to uh, 10 t squared plus 100 newton so this is what's given so what are we asked to find we are asked to find velocity as a function of time when time is four seconds we want to find the velocity so in other words velocity at four seconds or the velocity the final position is we want to we want to know what is that velocity so next we will draw the free body diagram at the center here where we have our uh, particle well, we represent the crate as a particle now the crate obviously have a weight of mass times gravity and since the crate is laying on a surface that surface exert a normal force on the crate and the four and we have a cable that's being that is pulling the crate as a as a function of time and we are given the coefficient of friction so that means we have a force of friction that is opposing the movement of the crate so first thing what we will do is we will add the uh, uh, some of the uh, forces in the y direction so there is no movement in the y direction equal to zero so to the top, uh, uh, up is positive, so it will be n minus mass times gravity equal to zero. n equal to mass times gravity. The mass is given to us as 25 times 9.81. So n is equal to 25 times 9.81, which will give us 2 four five point twenty five and we know there is a relationship between the normal force and the friction force friction force is equal to n times the coefficient of friction so for static we know that n is 245.25 times the coefficient of static friction is 0.3 times 0.3 so it 
will give us 73.575 and the friction and the friction force also can is for kinetic when when it is moving so this is the uh, amount of force that the motor need to exert to uh, make the crate start to move mu sub k why that is the amount of force that will be decreased when you apply a force when the crate is moving so this one will be n which is we found to be 245.25 245.25 times we said the kinetic is 0 0.25 times 0 0.25 so that will give us 61.3125 newton so which one we will use in our analysis so if, if you look at the force applied so the minimum force starts at when time is zero right so when time is zero we said the the function is right here which is 10 squared 10 t squared plus 100 10 t squared is 0 squared plus 100 so that tells us the force when time is 0 is 100 newton so at time 0 is when the motor start to pull the crate so here we will be dealing so in this problem which force of friction we will use the static or the uh, kinetic we will use the kinetic the reason why because the force at time zero is greater than the force of the friction when the uh, when we when we found it using the coefficient of static friction because the coefficient of static friction is 73 Uh, next we will uh, find the, the sum the forces in the x direction so here the sum of the forces in the x direction equal mass times acceleration in the x direction because the movement happens in the x direction so the external forces applied on the crate is what the force of friction going to the right positive which is 10 t squared plus 100 f friction that this one is the mu k we, we, we will use which will be 61.3 equal the mass of the crate which is 25 acceleration in the x direction so what will we do in here T squared plus 100 minus 61.3 equal to 25A in the x direction. So that will be 10T squared. So that will be 100 minus uh, 61.3125 plus 125 that will give us positive 38.68 equal to 25a in the x direction so we will divide this all by 10 divided by 25 so that will give us 0.4 t squared and 38.68 divided by 25 will give us plus 1.55 equal to a sub x or in other words this is a sub x as a function of time equal to 0.4 t squared plus 1.55 so so acceleration is the change in velocity in the x direction over the delta t equal 0.4 t squared plus 1.55 so this delta t will move to the other side which will give us delta v in the x direction equal to 0.4 t 
squared plus 1.55 next we will take the antiderivative sorry delta t now here we're looking from 0 to 4 so this one will give us force in the I mean velocity in the x direction equal to then we we know that this one this 0.4 divided by 3 t to the power 3 that's the antiderivative plus 1.55 times t so that is the antiderivative from 0 to 4 so the velocity as a function of time or in other word the velocity in the x direction in 4 seconds will equal to 0.4 over 3 times 4 to the power 3 plus 1.55 times 4 and that will give us what so let's let's see so we said 0.4 divided by 3 times 4 to the power 3 8.55 plus 1.55 times 4 that will give us 14.73 14.73 meter per second so this is the answer the velocity when time is 4 seconds is 14.73